What is up you guys? Welcome back to another video. It's your homie Kurt right over here. So not too long ago, I post a poll on should I make unboxing or a review about the AirPods because I just recently purchased a new one. And the reason why I purchased a new one is my, my old AirPod got stolen at the gym. So there's nothing really I can do about it. It's more like my fault than the device. So I wouldn't put that as a review. And um, I'm just trying to be unbiased. But this is the new one that I just recently purchased. And I tell you what, I've been using this for six months and I love it. Love it or hate it, they created a magnificent product right over here. And I, I, I really like it. So let's do an unboxing. So first you'll be able to get this brochure of stuff. Of course, the manual, you don't usually look at that. Then you get this bad boy in this silicon wrap uh, thingy. And this is the device right over here. It's, a lot of people kind of make a joke about this because it looks like a Tic Tac, which it does look like a Tic Tac, I would not lie. And this one looks like a toothbrush. To toothbrush that you have. <laughs> Uh, like a mini toothbrush that you get from hotels and stuff but you know they make it fun they make fun of it and everything like that but sometimes once in a while there's a new innovation out there and you know like the first iPhone just the full screen they you know how are you gonna text there how are you gonna uh, be able to type in your words and stuff like that but as soon as they get to know the product and they dive into it the appearance is more of like it's they forget about they forget about it it's less important than than what the product usually do apple airpods it produces about five hours of music non-stop music for each of these headphones and it it has this power brick that you can use for about takes about two days before it you know depleted and uh, so fast to charge it takes about five minutes and you can get two hours of uh, listening again. I really like this one because at first there's a controversy that surrounds it that oh man what if I lose the other one or I drop it somewhere or something like that but I, it's not really the case for me. I thought see I'm a, I'm a skeptic myself. I thought it's gonna fall off when I go to the gym or if I'm walking. What if I drop it? This is not safe for $150. What a joke, right? But you know, I use it for a couple of months now and Man, this is amazing. The reason why I really like the AirPods is because it stick on my ear just like this and no matter what I do It won't fall off. All right. I just got back from class. Also, I worked out and as you can see, it's still there. I haven't taken it off from the time that I put it on. But the only I said I say drawback to this thing is, as you can see, it's really windy in here, so you can literally hear that. It's not an on-ear uh, AirPod, uh, earpods where there's a padding inside of it or uh, it covers your ear. You can literally hear the environment and the noise. So if you're listening to some music or some podcasts, it's kind of like disorienting listening to that wind noise go along with the music or podcast you're listening to. So that, I think that's a really a drawback for me because I want to hear my, my video clear, loud and clear, and I can't have it. But you know, you get what you get. So that's, that's how it is. And one more thing really good about Apple products is they're really integrated to uh, connect with each other. So with that being said, I have my iPhone here. All I need to do is open it up. It will immediately connect me to the phone itself. If it did fall off your ear and you, you lost it, uh, Apple can get you a new one. They, they will send you a, a pair, but they will not you know, give you the whole thing. One more thing I really like about the AirPods is you are not constrained about your social environment. If you're the type of person who strives for productivity all the time, who listen to podcasts, who listen to music, or listen to you know an ebook, this is something that you might want to have. 
one thing that I really think Apple should have done with the AirPods is the volume. It's kind of annoying asking Siri to raise the volu uh, volume up or lower it down. There's no configuration where you can just slide it down. You want it to lower down the volume or swipe up if you want to uh, higher the volume up. So that's one thing that's just really a draw a drawback of it because you need to constantly you know ask Siri to you know higher lower. So it's kind of like man, you could have added that. It would have been perfect, boy. <laughs> the biggest drawback with this one is as soon as you start using it for quite a while, it collects dust. Man, that's freaking annoying and you don't know how to get rid of it so my advice for you guys if you're getting this i'm actually purchasing a new uh case for my airpods because i've learned quite a lot from the past one that it is actually ideal if uh, to get a case for the the power bank the reason being is you collect dust on the edges of this uh, thing so it's really good that you get a, a case for it or sometimes maybe you can get a a pad that you can put on the air tips so it doesn't collect any you know um, dirt from inside as well so I will link some of my suggestion down below if you want to take a look at it or, or uh, if you, you already have one and you're planning on purchasing one I will link it down below so you can get some options and see what I'm talking about but overall you guys airpods apple have done it again i i really love their products so if you guys like this video please give me a thumbs up and if you haven't yet subscribe to my channel thank you guys for watching i will see you guys on the next video